Grace has a couple of great questions here. One is, how do I help my clients understand that hiring me doesn't equal results? You know, I already say this to them, but sometimes I feel like they, they might say, okay, well, what am I hiring you for? I totally appreciate this question because obviously you get results, you help your clients get results, but it's, I say this all the time, we, we can't ethically promise results. And when I say that, I mean, uh, you know, by ethically, but also just strategically, we can't promise results because that's how we build a questionable reputation in the long term when we're promising results. And then not everybody, everybody's different. Every client's different. How they implement what you advise to them, they could screw things up too. Uh, you know, it's not anybody's fault. It's just, you know, everybody has a different stage in their, in their work. And anyway, so really appreciate this question. So I, a long, a long time ago, I stopped promising results. I used to do that too. In the very beginning of my business, I thought that was what we were supposed to do. And then over time, I realized, why? wait a second, I, I can't <laughs> make my clients do things or do things the way that I think it should be done. And also the market, you know, the audience, the world has many factors that we can't guarantee results for anybody, okay? Because of anything that happens in people's lives and in society. So therefore, what, we, what do we promise if not results? We promise, we promise to show up with care we promise that we have um, experience. That's what we can promise for sure. And we promise that we are going to walk them through a particular process. You know, that's what we can promise to do it with care, to do it with our experience. And we can share testimonials, obviously, right? So, but, but then once they are in the conversation with us, if they're going to say, all right, Grace, so if, you, if I hire you, you're going to get me a six figure, five figure launch, six figure launch, right? We say, wait a second. No, that's not, I, nobody can promise you that. And in fact, if you are literally in a conversation with them, right? Right. So if you are actually in conversation or messaging with them and they ask, can you get, get me a five, six figure launch? Because you're a launch strategist. Um, your answer, my answer would be, my answer would be, has, has someone been promising you that? Because if they are, they're, they're using a sales strategy that is unethical. Because who can prompt, who, are they going to do it for you, right? Are they literally going to work for you 24-7, 365? If, even if they work for you, even if I work for you, I can't promise you results. Because I can't even promise myself results, you know, <laughs> right? Also, um, I, I would also say to them, uh, I can promise, well, I mean, I'm not going to say promise, but I would say, let's look at your recent launch history. We will, we will try to at least match, if not exceed that. But, um, but you'll, you'll, um, but no matter what, well, this, I don't know, like literally say, but no matter, no matter what, you're going to have a more um, structured and less stressful launch process going forward. I mean, that's what you can promise that, my gosh, I'm going to put my experience onto your launch so that we're going to create a system where you can keep launching in the future. You have less stress because you, you're, you're more streamlined with your process. Uh, you have, you're using better strategies. No wonder you're going to probably get better results over time. But if anyone is promising that to you, to be honest, they're probably lying to you. I mean, they're not, they're not, not that they're evil or anything, but it's that they are over-promising because nobody should be promising. Results. Not nobody, nobody should be promising results. So how do we, so really the question is, the, the real question, okay? I think the real question is, how do we attract the clients who understand, right? And I'm so grateful that today I, I have clients who understand before they even get to me, before, I mean, before we even talk. So how do we do that? We educate them through our content. <laughs> yeah. So it takes time for people to understand that the process, the process is more important than the results. Because if you, if you look at like my Instagram or my, you frequently see comments, right? Like uh, example, look at my social media and, you, you know, um, e.g., Instagram, and you, you'll see people, people's comments, you know, 
come and say, wow, I never thought that way. You know, that's a great example that guess what? I am, we are making a difference and we are changing minds. And the person who says I never thought that way, they're going to keep reading, watching, and, and now they'll understand you know, going forward. So then when they come talk to you, they'll be ready, you know. Um, and the next one, get more interviews on podcasts, video channels. You're great on video and you should do that more. And uh, that have your ideal audience, people who are more like if we're, if we're, if we're trying to uh, draw an audience that cares more about process, you know, cares more about process than results, we want to be interviewed on, um, channels that care about personal growth, who, who care about longer term thinking, you know, and who care about more holistic values. So you can find channels like we don't want to be on channels. I mean, I, you can be on channels that talk about, you know, make money in the next, you know, two hours, you know, get six figures in the next 20 minutes. Um, you could be on channels like that to shock them to say, I know you're thinking you can get this, but let me tell you the, the truth from my years of experience, okay? So in your interview, talk about the process and why the results shouldn't be the focus, and you will be a really unique voice in that channel. So Grace, that makes sense? Yeah? Okay, cool. Yeah, you know, it does, it does take time. I mean, I, when, well, you know, it doesn't have to take a lot of time. When you start communicating something, um, you know, uh, let me just say this, um, you know, be bold in communicating um, your true thoughts, especially if they are against the mainstream or, or popular ideas in your industry. Because when you start doing that, you don't ha it doesn't have to take that much time. People will get surprised by what they're seeing, and then they will share it, and then they will think about it, and then they will look at more of your stuff, and then before too long, you now have a, at least a small dedicated following. And then you could share, hey, folks, if you want to talk about this, you know, let's talk kind of thing. So, yeah. 